Alright, so today I'm going to be doing something I haven't done in quite some time, and that would be a trailer review. Now, it's not going to be just any trailer, it's not going to be Hollywood wokeism trailer next movie that nobody needs to see, no. This is going to be a game trailer, and not just any game trailer, a game trailer I played yesterday on stream a demo. And I am looking forward to the full release. Let's get into it. Of course, we are talking about Tekken 8, and it is about a week away from being released. And Yesterday, I saw that it was on Steam for the, the demo version of the game, and I downloaded it, I had to play it, I had to figure it out, what it looks like, and it's absolutely awesome. Now, that being said, if you go back and watch the stream that I had, I was playing around with the settings, I was doing all that stuff, you know, trying to figure out how to make it work good, to like make it look great, and I push the game to its limits of this pre-release. I'm not entirely happy with it yet, but that could just purely be based on my computer, which is getting up there in the age, but don't worry. I'm really looking forward to this, so let's go ahead and check out the trailer, and after the trailer, I'm going to talk about it, because I did have fun, and I have my thoughts on the game itself. This looks cool. Yes, Iron Fist Tournament. We must seek Jin Kazama. The battle to decide the ranks of the new world begins now! Kinda cringe. Kinda. Oh, I was born for this day. You look like made in the mix, I get a load of this day. You were chosen a threat, and I was out of this day. After rocking a gold, I'm not an anonymous. The fighters will battle for personal glory and the fate of their countries. I'll give Kazuya a nice smack in the face! Yeah, Paul. これで全ての Tekken 8. Yes, it's coming out on the 26th. Can't wait. Cannot wait. And of course, here are some clips from the demo game itself. Check it out. As you can see, even in the demo game, they give you four characters to choose from. They're also showing you all of the characters that you will be able to use later in the full version. And I have to say, I'm looking forward to getting to see all of the character designs. That being said, one of the characters that you can choose from is, of course, Paul Phoenix. Now, I am more of a purist when it comes to Paul Phoenix. I really enjoy his iconic style. At least have the hair up. But, there's Paul Phoenix, Jin Kazama, Kazuya, and of course, one of my favorite characters, Nina Williams. I wonder why I like her so much. I'm, I'm the... Has to do with the name, but also boops! Come on. Let's get this over with. Get ready for the next battle. This should be fun. Round one. Fight! <laughs>
So, of course, I have my thoughts on the game. I've already gotten into the character design for Paul Phoenix, but the other character designs, Jen, Kazama, and Nina, I have absolutely no problems with. They look great. Now, the gameplay itself, the controls are working perfectly. It's smooth. There is no delay time. It's great. It's working well. Now. The problem I have with it so far is the graphics. I set the game itself up as far as I could go. As far as possible, and I'm still getting some of these pixels that shouldn't be there in the game. Now, that might change once the full game is released. There might be some game update or something that they just haven't incorporated into the demo version. I'm hoping that's what we're going to be getting. I don't know for certain, but that's the only gripe I have. I am looking forward to this game. Now, I absolutely love the cutscenes. I love the short clips, the movies, but Tekken has always been really great in doing those. I started Tekken when Tekken 3 was out. I absolutely loved it. The cutscenes, the final movies of each character a lot of them were funny as hell and a lot of them looked cool and that's been carried on from each and every single Tekken game that I've ever played now that would be Tekken 1, Tekken 2, Tekken 3, Tekken 4, Tekken 5, Tekken 6, Tekken 7 and now it looks like Tekken 8 is going to be doing the same and of course I've played the Tekken Tag tournaments now I know there are a lot of side games for the PSP and stuff like that, that I have not played. I'm not really certain that I want to or that I need to play those games since they're side games. Now, that being said, this Tekken 8 is going to bring back a mini game that I loved in Tekken 3. If you know, if you remember Tekken Ball, it's basically volleyball. Just with the Tekken fighters and, you know, you lose health every time you get hit by the ball and don't hit it back. Absolutely loved that game when it came out, when it was on Tekken 3. I've been wishing for Tekken Ball ever since Tekken 4. I was like, oh man, no, where's Tekken Ball? I want that back. And now finally, after so many years, they are bringing back Tekken Ball. I'm really looking forward to that. Now, there are some other game mechanics that I'm not so sure about. You know, I didn't get into it in this demo. There is like a, it's it looks like Pokemon. Basically, you, you make your own avatar. You walk around. I'm not certain that's something that I'm going to be interested in. I'm going to be interested in the story game. I'm going to be interested in the arcade, you know, and for a while for many of the Tekken games, you know, if you do the arcade, you get points and everything like that, and you can customize your own characters, which is absolutely cool, and I'm looking forward to that. So, we'll see. I personally cannot wait for Tekken 8 to come out. It's expensive, I have to, I, I'll admit that. The base game itself is already $70. Now, if you go and get the deluxe version, you're going to be paying an additional. I think it's like twenty dollars. It's like twenty dollars more. It's like ninety for that. Now, what do you get out of that? You get a whole bunch of stuff that I really don't care about. The avatar, the Pokemon avatar stuff. I, I don't, don't care. I really don't care about that. But you will be getting four more characters. Now, what else do you get? You There's another version, the Ultimate Deluxe, whatever, you know, for a hundred and so many dollars. I really don't think I'm going to be getting that. Now, would I want those four characters? I definitely do. And if that's important for you, then I would suggest getting the Deluxe for $90. However, it is steep. Now, of course, this game comes with its fair share of controversy. What kind of controversy you might be asking yourself? Well, Westerners, 
are complaining about the game. Now, there are a few talking points that they are complaining about. One, there aren't enough black characters. So, two, there are black characters from the start, but they would rather have the black characters be a DLC. They want to take out black characters of the base game. Then they want you to purchase the black characters and force them to fight. I, did, I didn't say anything at all. Anyway, that being said, another controversy of the game is that Westerners are complaining that the female characters are too sexy. That is right. These characters, they look fit. They're not land whales with blue hair. Strange how that works, right? Look, it's a game from Japan. They don't give a crap about your woke ideologies in the West. Now just compare some Western games to some Eastern games. I'm going to be putting up pictures right here so that you can kind of see, like, you know, pointing out some of the different character designs. Anyway, why don't you just let a Japanese game developers put out the games they want to, let the Western game developers put out the games they want to, and then, once they're both on the market, see which one does better. Wouldn't that be fair? But I can already tell you which one would win. All right, over on the YouTube side of things, I have a post, a poll out, asking you, the viewers, if you're interested in me playing the Tekken 1 through Tekken 8 plus the Tekken Tag Tournament games. There are two of them for all that I know. Anyway, vote in that. Let me know if you're interested in seeing that on stream because, yeah, I'm not going to be getting this game the moment it comes out. I wish I could. I just can't. It's impossible for me to do right now, but I will be getting this game and I want to give you the chance to let me know if you're interested in seeing the streams of all of the Tekken games. Now, I would be going through all of the stories, making sure that I have all of the characters and see all of the ending movies. Let me know if you're interested in that. Other than that, comment down below. Are you looking forward to this game? Are you going to be playing it? Are you going to be getting it? Which version are you going to be getting? Are you going to be getting the version with the four extra characters or the base game? Anyway, let me know. I'm looking forward to hearing from you. And hey, even if you want to talk about the controversies, do it down in the comments. I'm open to any opinions. Other than that, there's only one more thing for me to do is to thank you. If you enjoyed this video, smash that like button. Consider subscribing and hitting the bell for notifications. All right, until next time, take care.